Hi. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use ASP.NET MVC6 to search an Azure SQL Server database. Uh, the technology I'm going to use on the back end is Link. Link is a lot like SQL, where it allows you to search a database. It just sets up differently. It ends up looking like a lot like Lambdas and Chains instead of, um, instead of the rigid SQL statement. I currently have a, a form already connected to my Azure database, and I have two pages that display tables from my database. Um, those are authors and books. Um, I'm using Henry Pratt's Guide to SQL data for my particular project. So most of the work is going to be in our controller. Um, I'm currently in my book controller because that's the one I'm going to search on. So I do a, a run in this thing. It opens up and I'm going to click on my books link and I'm going to show you that we have a bunch of books there. And these are in order in the database. I don't have any sorts going on here. That will change. So, boom, deepness in the sky. Magic Terror, The Stranger, etc. These are all different types. Um, you might also notice that it's not the same default black and white setting. I used Bootswatch's Cyborg layout for this. I'm just tired of the black and white. So I'm stopping. All right, so this line here sends the book table into the view. The await, of course, is asynchronous, so it sits there and chugs until all the data comes down off of the server, and then it sends it in. We're going to modify this line. I'm going to comment it out so it doesn't get lost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use link here to simply search for my, my fiction books. Context is my connection to the database. I'm going to use .books.where. Books is my table. Where is just like SQL servers where. Except here I'll pass in a, a lambda. B is whatever variable you want to make up. I just you know chose B for book. Oops. Any quotes? All right. So thick only now has just the fiction books off of that screen. I'm going to return fig only. Oh, I forgot the view. And I should probably await this. just in case my Azure server is slow, which it probably is since I'm paying the absolute least. Uh, no. Where are my errors? Ah, let's get rid of it. Wait. Put it here. See if you like it there. If not, I'll just get rid of the wait. It doesn't like the wait anywhere I put it, so let's just get rid of it. I like to keep my errors in my videos. That way you can guys see that, you know, even us professionals make mistakes. Go to books. Let's give it a minute to chug. And you see all fic. Beautiful. So that works. If I'm worried about an asynchronous, I can do a two list of sync here. And that'll make it pause until it pops up. Okay, so this is a simple way to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a search box onto the form and use that to interact. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to create a search box in the form. I'm going to have to handle post here in my controller. And I'm going to have to write an interactive version of this. All right, so let me get back to where I came from. And then I'll and then I'll build the uh, search. All right, so I have a form built to handle this. Uh, a minute ago I said we needed post. I misspoke. We're going to use get. So this simple form, it's not real pretty, but it allows me to get a form object. So I'm going to take a look at any outputs. Again, not pretty but it certainly works. 
I'm going to get rid of this class here because I don't need it. And it'll look all right. Okay, so we're going to post this back to index, which is what the ASP action is. So ASP action means it stays on the server. I'm going to use get to send it back to the controller. The controller already responds to get. So since I named this object search string, I'm going to have to tell my get to accept the search string. So let's go back to my controller. In my controller, I'm going to modify index. I'm going to add a variable. I call it search string. Okay. And so with this, I'm going to again modify my constructor. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to hold on to my, my search string. Yeah, I'm going to use that one and pass that in. I'm actually going to put that into the form. I'm going to build a variable called books. This is link in action. So it's SQL-ish. You know, where you got selected from, but just in different order. And again, B is just the variable here. And then I'm going to use that search string right here. I'm basically going to say if there's something in the search string, so I'm going to use the not here. So if search string is not null or empty, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to say books is going to equal to books dot where. Title dot contains search string. And then I return box. Oh, thank you for helping me. Why are you helping me so much today? Oh, I see what I did. It's outside of the curly brace. There we are. That was, shouldn't have been that hard. Okay, so this line does the searching. And only search, of course, if there's something in the search string. And if the title contains whatever we pass in there, we send it back. I'm going to use this current filter on the index page. We're going to set it up so that that search is persistent. Put it right here at view data current filter. So let's see what happens. Let's run it. Let it chug. Go to books. I should have all of my books here when I link. There are all my books. And let's look for something s silly like the. Bam, the stranger. Let's search for ah. Uh, lots of them. Let's look for Harry Potter. And then if it blanks, I can go back to everybody. Um, that's not the most efficient way to pull that off. I'm going to create a quick link here that takes me back to full list. So that's just going to be a little input right here. And then just so it doesn't link... 
put an HR tag there. All right, so this should take me right back to index. This will use a default get with no parameter. It should give me everybody. Books, Potter, back to full list, everybody's there. Outstanding. All right, so you've learned how easy it is to set up a search through your small database. It's all handled in the controller by passing a search string in and then managing that search string with the language called link. And link is spelled L-I-N-Q. Language Integrated Query is what it stands for. There are tons of examples and tutorials for Link online. Um, check them out. Thank you for watching and good luck.